Last week, I had my interview for my master's application to the University of Cambridge. In this video, I'm going to go through how I prepared and also what the interview was like. If you want to know more about my master's application in general, I've made a detailed video where I go through my master's application. I really wanted to make this video because when I was trying to prepare for my interview, I couldn't find anything like this. I couldn't find anyone talking about their master's interview at Cambridge. So I think this video should be helpful to anyone who is applying to Cambridge and is unsure what their master's interview will be like. Though obviously each interview is different and different departments, different courses might have different interview formats, but hopefully this video can still be helpful. I'm applying for an MPhil in biological sciences at the zoology department and it's a research-based MPhil with a project that I've written a project proposal on. So about two weeks ago I was told that I would have an interview with a member of the zoology department. This wasn't my project supervisor but someone else. Fortunately for me this person had lectured me in the past so I knew who he was which made it a bit less intimidating but I guess it was still a bit stressful. So I was told this person would be interviewing me and I was told to arrange uh, a date and time with this person over the next week or so. So I got in contact and we arranged for a Zoom interview in about uh, a week's time. I also asked uh, the interviewer what I would be asked roughly so I knew how to repair and I was told it'd be about my research experience and also the project I was proposing. So I spent the next few days just preparing myself. What I did was go through my application and I made sure that I was able to expand on anything that I might be asked about. I did this by going through application and then talking out loud in my room as if I was in the interview. I think that was very helpful, just speaking out loud, even if it is just to myself. Because I was told that the interview would include my past research experience, I made sure to look back at all the stuff that I've done in the past in terms of research, looked at reports I've written, all that kind of stuff. And again, spoke out loud to myself as if I was in the interview. So I was more or less prepared to talk about my research experience if it would come up. What I considered is that I might be asked about my EPQ, which is a project I did in year 12. And there's a really cool picture that is part of that project. So I had that picture online and got the link ready to send to the interviewer in case it would come up. And it did come up, so I did end up sending that link to him. So once I'd gone through my application and gone through my research experience, I then looked at the project I was proposing. I made sure I understood everything that was written in my project proposal and I also read some of the key papers which I cited in that proposal. Again, I would talk out loud to myself about this project proposal which was very helpful. I also made sure that I was prepared to answer why I was applying for this master's in case it did somehow come up. So after preparing like I did, the interview came, it was via Zoom and it was half an hour long. The interview was very friendly. At the start, they made it clear that it, this was more of an academic conversation than a kind of interview. So the interview was, like he said, about my research experience and about the project I was proposing. So about the first half or even more than half of the interview was spent talking about the project I'm doing right now as part of my degree and the internship I did after my first year and the project I did at school. And it was very much like a conversation. He sometimes asked questions, but it was quite nice. And like I said, at some point, I sent a link to him to show him a picture that was relevant to my project. When I was talking about my research experience, I was at some point asked a question about crickets because I was working on crickets. And it was a very niche question, is something about their blood flow. I didn't know the answer. I did just say, oh, I'm not sure. Once I finished talking about my research experience, we then went to talk about my project. He basically asked me to explain my project to him, which I did. And then he asked questions such as, what are you expecting to happen? What outcome are you expecting? What is the next step? And that kind of stuff, which did involve thinking on my feet a bit, but I think I answered it more or less. So in summary, mind to you, it was quite nice. It was with an academic at the department I was applying to. It was much more an academic conversation than it was a formal interview. I was asked pretty much about two things, my research experience and the project I was proposing. I did at some point talk about why I wanted to do a master's and that's because I want to get more research experience and then I could be more sure about what I want to specialise in if I do decide to study further. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you want to find out more information about my master's application, I go through it in detail in this video. 
and thank you for watching.